welcome back um, so in the second part we are going to set up the required um, dependencies of our engine and we are going to generate the project files so the steps is quite easy um, just basically can open uh, where your engine is located by the way this is uh, let's just show in Control Shift S. So if you just select it and push Control Shift S, it's going to open it in File Explorer. Um, and then basically you need to come here, and uh, there's if you're on Windows, uh, which is what I'm on right now, so there's this setup.bat file here. So just run this one first. I usually run as an administrator to avoid any um, problems with giving permissions. To it. And Additionally, one thing that you should uh, probably be careful in here is that uh, by default Windows has this path length restriction, which is uh, 260 characters, if I'm not mistaken. And Windows maximum path length limitation, yeah, for Win32 applications. So if you check this, like it's defined as 260, and some of the things that the setup is going to download is going to, especially depending on where you're placing your stuff. Like if you are using a path, maybe a bit longer than this, it might lead you to errors being thrown off while it's uh, doing its thing. So I recommend you to basically enable the long paths in Windows 10. And how you do it is quite easy. So basically, you can do it either from the command or the PowerShell, or you can just uh, go to your group policy settings. Under computer configuration, you have the administrative templates, and from here, so for you to see, go to system, and you have the file system, and enable long paths. It's here, so just enable this, click OK, and then you're good. Shouldn't experience any problems with that. This is quite straightforward, and after running this, um, just generate the project files, and. The thing here is actually like you can see, uh, so this is the main one. So I haven't built this one yet, but this is the one that I was uh, testing things out. And if I open this one, so as you can see, like from this uh, .bs folder here, that I already went through the setup and the general project uh, files phase. And if I go into the engine. Uh, inside source, we have programs, and Unreal Game Sync is located here. And if you just open the solution file, you're going to see that everything here is ready. Yeah. So the install is here, Unreal Game Sync is here. But on the other hand, if I go and open the one that I haven't run, the set up and generate project files so under the same location programs uh, on your game sync you still have the solution file but if you open this you're going to see that some of them are going to be either not found or unloaded yeah like the custom action is unloaded and install is not found yeah so these two are uh, enabled after you make the previous two steps like set up and generate project files um, I'm not so sure about if this part, which is available, is going to be able to build or not. But since you're going to use this engine, it's, I guess, good practice to just go through the proper setup process first. And one thing to remember here is this one, the installer itself, um, depends on... Uh, let me go back to perforce yeah this is a development one engine source programs game sync yeah installer itself depends on a framework called wix so what is this is it's a tool set uh, that basically cr used to create windows installation applications so it's basically like a number of dotnet foundation so uh, it's mainly Windows specific and it's, it's quite straightforward just go to downloads and apparently UGS at the time uh, requires more like a higher version than 3.8 
and right now it's 3.11.2 so I just downloaded this and let me go to my downloads to show you yeah so this is the the file that I downloaded and if you open this it has this very unconventional installer but yeah here you're going to see install just click it and you're basically done with this but additionally you have to install the Visual Studio extension so currently UGS uh, depends on either like it needs to have 2017 or, or 2019 so when I had the 2022 with the 4.27 uh, yeah it wasn't working with this one so I haven't tried it with 5 yet but it works with uh, 2019 so I just downloaded this which is this one here so just double click on it and it's going to install everything and then you're also done with it after this phase you can also build the installer and yeah so for now that's it after this phase you are ready to build the executables for the unreal game scene so see you in the next part